Hey guys, this is uh, Solomon Jagwe again with another quick tutorial. Uh, this time focusing on the newly released uh, Octane 4.0. And uh, you can find the plugin under the Otoy website in the forums. And this, they have a very good uh, video highlighting some of the new features. My favorite so far is the denoiser. So check this out. This scene right here, right? It's a uh, set at 12. 80 by 720 it took eight seconds to render eight seconds to render okay but you can even get it lower with a almost the same quality so check this out so we i set the samples at 350 so if i enable the denoiser right here it's under the tone settings now let's scroll up so you can see all the settings up at the top well, the way you find the settings anyways, first you have to import a file. Uh, this I export this scene from 3 3D, 3ds Max as an .orbx file, and once you bring it in at the bottom, you double click on the render target to to load uh, because at first initially it's gonna show as a black image over here. So once you double click on the render tag, it's going to load up the scene and then you click on render target to load up the render settings over on this side. So once it's loaded, if you once you, you need to scroll down all the way to the spectral AI denoiser and enable that. So I want to show you the difference. So this is without it, right? And I'm going to set the samples to, uh, right now it's at, uh, Let's see. I'm setting. I've set it to 350, and I'm gonna actually do like 500, just to show you how impressive this uh, addition is. So, it's at 500 uh, samples. It took 11 seconds to finish, and that's without the denoiser. So, I'm gonna enable the denoiser. Scroll, scroll down. Enable it. Right. And a new tab will show up. So there will be two tabs at the bottom. One is main and the other one is the denoised version. So this is what it looks like. So you can see around the socket, eye socket for this uh, alien creature. You can see the, you know, the noise around there. So if I s s click on the denoise one, which you can see how it removes the noise. And that is uh, at 500 samples taking 15 seconds so we can get it down to five seconds and almost the same quality so go back up the top uh, reduce <laughs> the samples to 200 okay and we're gonna move to our I want to say on the same frame around the same frame So the main, so it's, that one took seven seconds. Uh, let me do, let's try a hundred samples. All right, so at a hundred samples, <laughs> it took three seconds to complete okay and that is with the noise around them so when I enable the denoiser at the bottom let's scroll down and make sure it's enabled if you click on the denoise the denoised beauty tab you can see how the quality improves and you get you get you still get the, the detail what you may lose is a little bit of the subsurface scattering but I think that is acceptable at this level. So there it is. With Octane 4.0, you can achieve renders that are acceptable at three seconds per frame. That used to be a dream. I, I, I couldn't even say that with a straight face and say that I could render something in a 3D program at three seconds per frame um, with a true ray tracing, by the way. So I'm extremely 
you know excited to have the 4.0 version and i'll follow up with the tutorial for the 3ds max plugin but there it is guys so you can at three seconds per frame you're able to get renders that are really cool looking really good beautiful ray traced and with a acceptable acceptable results and let me try before i go to crank it up all the way to okay let's say about 1000 samples okay let's see how long that takes oh one thing i forgot to mention i have uh, three graphics cards in here and you can see the information at the bottom three gpus i have a 1070 a 780 and a 640 so combined that's why i'm able to get those fast speeds so i recommend you take out uh, if you're going to if you want to achieve the same results i'm recommending that you have at least two gpus in your computer so at, at 1000 samples it took 29 seconds enough said <laughs>